What's up, world? Ranger Redneck checking in with you from the beautiful back hills of western Pennsylvania. You know what really pisses me right the fuck off? People think that they got some kind of fucking authority. They can come up and they can try dictating you how to fucking live or they try giving you fucking options. Who the fuck are you to go around telling anybody what they can or what they cannot do, okay? Yeah, I'm still pretty pissed off about this whole getting banned from Facebook thing. I had some of my techno geek buddies here. They, they dug into it and they, they're coming back. They're, what they're thinking is why Facebook could actually do this to me is because... Because my page is listed as a community page, uh, and it, it is a public page, um, that, you know, it's too one-sided or that there's too much profanity or the topics that I touch are too sensitive or or whatever, what, whatever, fucking whining, crying, fucking maggots. Uh, and they told me if I switch my page to a private page, then this would no longer happen. Uh, it's shit like this that I mean, okay? This shouldn't be an option. It should be called, shut the fuck up and just leave my page alone. All right. You don't want to read or you don't want to hear what I'm putting on or you don't want to read what I'm putting on or you don't want to see my face. Don't click on my fucking videos. Seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Uh, I wore my special shirt today, too, for all you douchebags out there who are going around whining and crying and bitching uh, about other people trying to express their fucking opinions. Also, I got a good friend, uh, Robert McClough Jr., uh, he is running for president of the United States. He actually does have a very good, a very good shot at it. Uh, look him up here. He's still on Facebook there, I believe. They tried taking uh, parts of his page down. Same deal. He's just a common God-fearing working man, just like me. Uh, me but he doesn't use half the foul language that I do, okay? He's definitely a lot more uh, diplomatic than I am. Uh, look him up, okay? They tried blocking his page. There's nothing wrong with anything that he's done, okay? They're coming after the point, okay? This has nothing to do with the profanity or anything like that, okay? Then I see pictures come across my thing. Dude, I got a picture today across my fucking Facebook update thing. A guy with a rake jam through his ass. You see that one? And it says, you know, you think you're having a bad day? Okay, so that's all great. We can all look at that, and that's no big deal, but you're going to fucking report me. That's fucking horse shit. These options. This is no different than when Obamacare come out and all this horse shit was going down, and these fucking douchebags are out there bitching, whining, and crying about fucking birth control. Well, would you rather pay for birth control or would you rather pay for other people's kids? Yeah, I got a better fucking idea. Why don't you pay for your own fucking birth control or pay for your own fucking kids? Don't come up to me, try handing me this fucking argument that you prepared on a silver platter thinking that I'm going to have to sit there and only pick something off of a fucking tray. Fuck you. I'm going to drop a fucking cigarette butt and empty coffee cup on that silver platter. I'm going to jam my point up your ass. That's fucking ridiculous. We could choose and pick and do whatever the fuck we want in this country, okay? You want to fucking have kids, have kids. You, you know what? You can't afford kids. You can't afford birth controls. Put the dick down. You know, I fucking went through this bullshit with Sprint the other day, trying to get a fucking, trying to get my goddamn phone fucking changed over all this shit. You're, oh, we got these early termination fees. And your phone bill's all right. You know, I got a better idea. Fine. And here, take the fucking phone. I don't want it no more. Oh, well, you're going to have to pay for it. You're gonna, don't fucking come up to me and try to tell me what I can do. Redneck's got two fucking policies. Policy number one, no matter man, woman, child, you can always return fire. If you are fired upon, you always return fire. Policy number two, fuck your policy, okay? Nobody goes around for, oh, well, our corporate policy. Oh, well, our bank policy. Fuck that shit, okay? You sit there thinking that because you wrote some asshole fucking policy that you're going to override right and wrong or override people's opinions. That's fucking horse shit. Fuck that. That's bullshit. Keep your children and your guns close. And as always, save the hate mail because I don't give a fuck. Red, 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 red,